days ago, you received a cryptic message from your Aunt Juno, the family black sheep who you haven't seen or heard from in over 10 years. The message provided the access codes to the Rasputin, a near derelict spacecraft and a relic of her younger days. Also included were the coordinates to Rust City, an out-of-the-way space station with a questionable reputation. She practically begged you to meet her there as quickly as possible. Now, after several days of travel and a few unscheduled maintenance stops, you have at last arrived. This is a place of liars and thieves. You wonder how you let yourself get dragged to such a godforsaken backwater. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name's T-Ford, and this is Rebel Galaxy. Start of a new series. Uh, see how it goes. Zagora Lanbustora, Shandu Zalgumachu, Shashaduth. I'm going to try and not talk over any of the uh, conversations because they're actually really, really quite good. Um, the, the speech and everything is quite, uh, quite well put together. The, except for maybe the bartenders, but <laughs> that's another story. Um, so we're going to play through the storyline, um, do some uh, odd bits and pieces, missions and quests, uh, see how things go. They can spend a lot of time in one galaxy uh, before moving on to a second one. And um, there's lots and lots of upgrades that you can uh, obtain in that galaxy, which um, may or may not be any good when you move into the next one. And if they're not any good, obviously, you're going to have to go through the whole process again. So, we'll see how much of this we'll catch on video and let's uh, just see how it plays out. So, uh, we've got a ship, a bit of an old junker. We've met this guy and uh, obviously we're looking for our aunt. So, uh, let's see if we can find out who this guy is. Rora Talgo Santa Rito Shovaga Shavurla I see. Well, I guess I'll see you after I die. Ando okay, a few little introduction things on how to fly. Um, tapping E to increase your speed, E to decrease. Um, using A and D to steer. Uh, you can dock by flying close enough to the station and pressing and holding E. It's also the same way that you use to collect cargo and uh, pick up other bits and pieces on ships that you destroy or things that you mine or find in um, different asteroid fields. Um, also amongst these we've got W which is like a turbo or thrust um, or afterburner whatever you want to call it and S which is kind of a, a brake to, to slow you down which can increase your uh, turning which is quite helpful in some of the fights. But I'm already going at top speed here just need to get close enough to this place. So, obviously we started, we need to uh, equip our ship, so I'm going to go and pick up a new turret in our weapons section. We've already got some old scanners fit as broadsides and no secondary weapons and we've got one turret. We've probably got enough money to fit one more of the same type, so that's fine, we'll go ahead with that. Let's install that now. The combat in this game is quite smart. It's like um, almost like old naval battles. You've got turrets which you can shoot at uh, ships as they fly over, uh, around and under your ship. And then you've got broadsides which allow you to let rip with what should be your most powerful weapons and uh, do quite a lot of damage. But you've got to be within range and there's some accuracy limitations to it as well but um we'll see those when we actually get into a fight so let's go and talk to this guy at the bar Mondo Cambiso Juno Sando Copaldo Ando Jepei Rando Vondu Jando Botondo Cando Zei Yeah so why do you say that? Rando Vosotondo Jando Bocal Rando Zavara Free stuff. Ando Zay, Jambondo Spectre, Tontaka Lando Jazunda, 
John no bongo kapanta ram simbota wadan chapai. I uh, smell a plot piece. Ram do ve, jan do do va, ram toska, jan do bo janda, dan do rasputin, an do chapai ram kon bo jara zazabonda. Yeah, we're gonna try and get rid of that junk heap. Kor no bajadenko zando joy tanda rendo bo boy. Popcorn, no bojol. And no bojol, no bojol. Jun no bondo zo zo bonde ye. Lala, zon zon gumo do chi. Hey, what are you? Uh, what are you offering? And no zo skava whiskey in the grilla. Man jun do bo and no zo vardo. Arun kondo jo tanda rundo bo ji ko bo tan. Right, I'm in. Hamdo. Rando beef hundro creed and oil Bronson coal. Rando the whiskey mop and the motto land the boy. I love the way it slips in quite clearly English words like whiskey and Bronson coal. And it doesn't seem to just be repeated, it's quite good. Right, let's go and do this mission then. No, missions are marked to go diamonds on your screen and radar, just you're heading to point towards the destination. As you move far, far, as you move further away from large objects, you'll accelerate sublight speed and warp. Okay, uh, let's go. So we're looking for a gold diamond, which is there. Engines at maximum. Speed up. What I was saying about the broadsides, this is uh, aiming on the broadside, and if I let go, you can see it zooms out and then zooms back in again. So it's kind of an accuracy thing. And when I fire, they stay grouped together. If I rapidly fire, you'll just see they just spread all over the place. But that's where a bit of strategy comes in with some of the combat. Do you go for aimed shots that are going to hit your opponent, or do you get in nice and close and... Uh, risk taking a pounding on your shields and your armour, but dishing out huge amounts of damage if you can get the shots off. Okay, so we can use the false function to, to detect objects and resources. However, there's a shortcut key for that, which is, uh, I think it's F, if I remember rightly. Um, hostile and friendly targets are red and blue. Cargo appears as purple. And non piloted missing objects will appear as gold diamonds. Asteroids containing harvestable resources will mark grey diamonds. So you can get mining lasers to help you mine, or you can just bail into a, a mine with whatever weapons you've got and just hope you get something out of it. Obviously, mining lasers are a lot better for giving you that uh, yield. Don't hit F. Detected. Bounty detected. Uh, so we've got some enemies over there. Coming up the asteroid. We got here. Detected friendly. Scanner. Can I lock onto him? Too far away. Too far away. Accelerating to sublight. Scanner's not too good in this uh, this place because of the interference so everything's kind of wobbling around all over the place. Kind of horrible to be perfectly honest. Okay, so a bit of afterburn to try and catch this guy up. Accelerating to if I use up all my afterburn in one go, hail. they take longer to recharge. Hailing. Hey there. Or as you send you, you got my payment. Pleasure doing business with you. Mission complete. Might as well make it a fair deal. Exiting sublight. Safe travel. Accelerating to sublight. Let's see if we can walk back through this asteroid field. Might be a little bit too thick. Yep. Well, we could have walked around it, but uh. It's only a small asteroid field. Up in this direction, it be nice and clear. Warp 
I, I do like the feel of this game, the music. Uh, kind of makes it feel a lot like uh, Firefly. Yeah, it's a very Firefly feel to it with the with the kind of music and the, the, the gritty, um, dirty kind of feel to the ships. It's quite nice. Right, let's speak to all of you again. Senso! Okay, I'm going to take a tractor beam uh, because I can pick up anything that I find, any uh, weapons or uh, cargo, anything that someone might drop that I'm going to fight against or anything that I find. Uh, okay, let's have simple. Romoton, Gandu Zukum, and Dubuji Mundu, and Dubujala. Okay, then the Kukan and two young boy, and the Shakit Dom Baba. Right, we'll be right back. Um, let's talk to the bartender. I'm just going to give you an idea of how the bartender sounds. Take a seat, friend. It's on your mind. The pirates around here are a real problem. You take a hand in cleaning up that mess, the Confederation will take notice. And you take care now. Actually, he's not too bad here. Um, some of the others <laughs> sound quite terrible. So let's uh, let's head off on this mission. Engines at maximum. Accelerating to sublight. Accelerating to second. There we go. I quite like the warp effect. It's, um, it kind of gives you a feeling of uh, that something's happening and you are actually moving. What was that? There we go. So, I'm at Rebel Galaxy's naval star, which means broadsides. We did discuss that. Use left mouse button to fire the broadsides, aim your broadsides. Orbit the camera until it faces the direction you wish to fire and hold the right mouse button and charge your sides. Top predictor will show where the projectiles will travel and can be adjusted with the mouse. The longer you hold the right mouse button, the more accurate and synchronised your shots will be. However, as it just shows there, you can fire in both directions at the same time. Let's, uh... Ooh, mines. I'm going to take another one. Starboard shields down. Alright, let's watch out for more mines. We'll try and take them on one of the other sides. Purple ones around here, so I might try and investigate those after this. Okay, now here's a cargo container. I should be able to get close enough to salvage that. And I've got a shield buster turret, munitions, and obtainium. Nice, that'll get me some extra cash. Exiting satellite. And that turret will be quite handy as well. Enemy craft inbound. Okay, so turrets important part of combat. Now see the broadsides can't reach up or down to fire. They can only really sort of fire into sides with a little bit of left and up and down on the left and right sides. Um, 
turrets themselves though, however, can shoot pretty much any direction, so they're your best defense against fighters. The, um, well, use this quite loud. The um, turrets can also be aimed individually, and much like the broadsides can, which uh, allows you to yeah, take on these fighters and things yourselves. However, I tend to stay in broadside mode. Engines at maximum. This guy looks quite nasty. Take it on the other side, really. Let's see if we can get a bit closer. Do some real damage. And this is where it comes into the aiming. Just literally just trying to hand out the punishment here. Okay, let's get this one down. Okay, he's dropped some uh, bio waste there, which I'm not going to pick up because that is actually contraband. And you can get in quite a bit of trouble when you start picking that stuff up, as you will. Oop, arch out for the mine. Um, yeah, you will get stopped by the uh, local forces. Yeah, what have we got nearby? Well, that's the cargo base. Right, let's investigate these valuables. Satellite boosters depleted. I could walk to these, but they're so close by. Yak meat, ceramic plate, and titanium. Nice. Very worthwhile. Accelerating to satellite. I'm going to head to the detected valuables in this instance because that detected cargo will be the, uh, the bio waste that we left laying around earlier. Warp inhibited by stellar mass. Front level, yellow. Detected cargo. Is that different? No, that's the same. Up these valuables, cargo holds probably yeah. getting quite full around about now. We've got to uh, use a pull of our space so far. Exiting Oops. Yeah, crashing into things isn't a great idea. But there we go, we've got some free credits, mission completed, and uh, a whole bunch of things to sell. Now, I'm probably not going to bother too much with trying to get the best price because at the end of the day this is not costing me anything to get my hands on these items. So the way they're selling for is perfect. But sometimes prices can be so low that it's just not worth trying to sell things for that price, in which case you might as well just hold on to them until you find somebody that's got a bit of a better price. Let's dock. Let's go talk to Ilzu. Nanzo to shenda, and the jun to jui, randobo tsei. Right, well we've helped you out, let's see if you can do to help us out. Randobo shenda jun no, el sanda Antibo. Well, she made a lot of money, so. Nice. So I can also hire mercenaries in here, and um, there's a price Name's there. Name's Garrus. I hear you're looking for someone who can fly. Is that the case? 
I got one of those military grade Durham gunships. She's fast and she's mean and she's reliable. I'm not going to hire one. All right, now, see you. Uh, I don't think the flights will be hard enough. Let's get to shipyard. We've got some repairs, roadside and hull plating took a bit of punishment. Repairs complete. Not too much to repair really. Now these are different ships we can buy. We've only got 14,000 credits, so we're not going to be buying any of these anytime soon. Um, as you go through them, they've all got different stats, including different types of broadside ports, what kind of turrets, uh, secondary ports, a rough idea of how fast they are and what type they are, so light frigates, heavy frigates, destroyers, and an idea of their maneuverability. But that'll be something we'll come back to later. Just have a look at commodities. Uh, system average price is 900. These guys are buying a 692 for ceramic plating, so not really worth my time to sell it. I'd hold on to that for now. Munitions, on the other hand, slightly above system average, so we'll get rid of those. Uh, same for the yeah, meat, we'll get rid of that, and same for the obtainium. We could probably get better prices elsewhere, but. It's not worth my time at the moment. Okay, let's see what equipment we can get. We've got some surplus, we've got a shield buster here. This is a rocket turret. I'm not going to use rocket turrets. I'm going to sell that. We have 15 grand. It's nice to know that uh, we've got the cash. So we've got 32 grand. Still short of a ship. Okay, let's just see what we can do with equipment wise. Now we could get some upgrades here. Don't have a deflector though. There's a lot of different weapons here for broadsides. All do different things. All have different ranges, different rates of fire. Turrets, pubs, turrets. So we've got Mark Rodden scatters at the moment, which is 21 damage per second, range of uh, almost 2,000. Straight upgrade would be just going for the Mark IIs. They do quite a lot of damage. 32 per second. These pulse turrets do even more. Black turrets are good for taking out aircraft, but completely useless against speaker ships, um, raiders and the like. Again, same with swarm missiles. Shield dust we had, but we sold that. Leech turrets are good for taking down shields. Oh, no, sorry, leech turrets are the ones which reduce the speed of their target. Um, there are other ones which also take down shields. Um, combat laser. Hundred per second, quite a long range. I think that I'm going to go for twenty-one per second. Is not much. I'm 
I'm not too worried about range, so I think I'm going to take two Mark II Scatters. Yep, sell the old one. Still going to sell the old one. And that leaves us with only 1,500 credits. Not enough for a deflector, so we shall make do without for the moment. So we're damage dealing, which is good. That's what we want. Let's go find this guy and carry Engines on the main maximum. story for the moment. And then later on, we're going to pick a few missions and go kill some randoms, get some faction boost, and hopefully start to rake in some cash. You can get faster engines uh, later on, which allows to get to places a lot quicker, which are great if you're doing trading. Yeah, let's go see this Sandar guy. No, we don't know each other. Just tell me where my arms is. I'd like to be able to help you. <laughs> okay, you want me to bribe you? Well, I'm going up for fights, so we'll do this. You better have something for me by the time we get back. Bit of the news. Don't need a no mercenary, can't afford a mercenary anyway. Let's just have a look in the commodities market. Uh, ceramic platen is still not a good price here, so we'll hold on to it. Although a lot of stuff actually seems quite cheap here. Reading meteoric diamonds. Shame I don't have the money. Meteoric diamonds can actually fetch quite a high price, so if you can find them cheap or mine them, then. That's a good way of earning money. So a quick look at the mission board. That's a high risk. Uh, probably not a good idea. Average risk. Average risk. Ah, <laughs> very high risk. We'll pass on that one for now. Average risk. Okay, so. Yeah, see now here's a mission here. Now if I take this mission, I'm going to be in with the pirates against the system militia. Now I think I'm going to help the city. I think I'm going to go with citizenry and militia. Although maybe not too much of the militia because I'm going to sm uh, smuggle a few things every now and then. Um, I don't want to get too pally pally with them. That's an interesting one though. Plus 20 red devils and minus 10 double jacks. There's no time limit on this quest, so I'm going to take that. I think that might be interesting. So 
I've now got two mission focuses. That's the double jack rivals. Engines at maximum. So this must be my main quest here, and it's the one that's currently selected, as you can tell by the exclamation mark. Let's try and get into some clear space. Accelerating to sublight. Exiting sublight. Accelerating to sublight. Go. Yeah, so later on, hopefully, as I get to some more upgrades and improve my ship, things won't take so long to reach. Um, no idea if the systems are going to get bigger or if they stay roughly the same size as a starting sector, which in itself is looks very large. Someone like you might show up. Who sent you? Sandar? Morgan? Well, I want you to know it's Sandar, so you know who it was when you died. That little toad can't be paying you much. Look, this is gonna go bad for you. Pay me 800 credits and I'll make myself scarce. And you can tell Sandar whatever you want. I don't think so. I don't like so. I'll have to your make my money from my wallet. Thanks, Missile inbound. 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 Missile Missiles in now. I should have put that in missiles. Missiles in now. Missiles in now. Look at it, he's not really taking much damage, is he? Exit, Let's see how these deflectors I've got in my hand. Whoa! I won't forget this. I should have picked deflectors. Satellite boosters defeated. Missiles. missiles. You can take them on the front end. Oh, this is just loading the machine up straight away. It's him or me, and it's probably going to be me. That's an awful lot of damage there. Yeah, there's a few mineable resources out here. It must be to me at the moment, we don't have a mining laser. However, let's uh, take out the rest of these fighters. Oh, 
going out here. He's going to make a fire attack. Okay, that takes care of him. Oh yeah, given how banged up I got, I don't think I should go straight to the next mission. I think it's going to be worth my time to go and get repaired and then come back afterwards. Okay, well, I'm going to try and keep these uh, videos fairly short in comparison to my previous ones, so I'm going to call it here. I'm travelling back, uh, I'm going to get repaired, and we'll carry on the storyline in the next video. Thanks for watching.